This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Thursday, October 1st. And as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational uh, purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, so the reason I just stuttered, just tried, was going to change it, and we're a little bit out of habit because it is the first day of October. So that means Trader of the Month will be announced tomorrow morning. So let's make sure that we get our votes in for who we are going to name as Trader of the Month going uh, for the month, obviously, of October. All right, but let's take a look at what we got going on out there. Now, obviously, first thing we've been looking at is this SLDB, and it really has just not been a hard trade at all. I mean, you know, overall, really kind of clear and showing exactly what its intentions are and, and really just following those intentions to pretty much almost to a T. So now we obviously know that we've had a beautiful buy that's gave, that came in right before we started our meeting. If we take a look right here, this 475, just absolutely phenomenal position, bringing us back up to that five level. But the one thing not that happy about at all, look how weak five was. I mean, we have a little bit of buying coming over. The print personality is really, really high within here. But if we take a look, I mean, I'm just not happy whatsoever with what we're seeing there. So we're getting this little bit of a push. We are getting a little bit more coming back up. But remember, this five level is not going to be something easy to be able to break. Just as much as the 450 was definitely you know, a little bit harder. Wasn't as hard as we would have expected it to be completely to be completely honest but overall holding above this five we need more there's just not enough there and we also need you know based off of how much they took at five i would think that they would bring it back down just just to be able to try to find some more volume coming back in towards that level so it has the buying easily to get us to 525 even higher based off that position that we came and I came in at 475. So you're talking about 50 cents right there, even more if we continue. But we are not seeing that new buying coming in over that five level the way that we would need to. Um, as long as after, and you know, that doesn't mean that doesn't really matter so much yet because we needed to pull back anyway. So the fact that we didn't see that much buying, it's nothing crazy. So one of the things that we have to look for is we need to make sure at this level we see them try to maximize that uh, that volume, maximize those orders to be able to really be able to build. I mean, you can see the volume is just absolutely, you know, it is great. So after a pullback from five, we really need to see building. As long as we can see building underneath and at, we should have no problem of really being able to get this thing to push off. It's just that damn five level if this was at four instead i'd have a completely different view on what we've seen so far but we know for a fact there's a market maker sitting there and we're going to see those games so really want to see that buying coming in and starting maximizing enlv i really like this stock now it's not the, it hasn't been the greatest in movement, the actual you know, range of movement since uh, pretty much about 8.30. But one thing I like about it, it is just really, really smooth. And if you take a look at what the prints that we have. So earlier before this, we had a few bids that came in at 10.50. You can see here a few at 10.50. But really overall, we got some great ask prints that have came in and it's came in on the way up. So you can see right here, those ballsy prints right underneath that 10 level. We've hit 10 twice. I'm coming in there on the S. So what that tells me tends another really hard level for us to, you know, to, to work with because we know a market maker is going to be there trying to play game. So overall, what we're going to be looking for is that pullback that comes underneath. And it should be a pretty substantial pullback. But what I want to do is I want to see it hold the triggers. All right. So I want to see it hold in this congestion because that's really where this thing broke out from. So if it holds within there and we get a trigger back towards that upside, we really want, like I said, we really want to make sure we're not getting in at 10. We want to try to get in under. Um, if not, based off the, the buying that we've seen coming in, the, the actual trade first is to that downside. Now, I know before, and, and call me crazy, but this was not hard to borrow. I still requested shares and was able to get them, but they were not, it was not hard to borrow. And then all of a sudden it changed. Um, and, you know, Alex, <laughs> I'm trying to think because I've looked at so many stocks this morning going through, but I, I swear to you, it did not say hard to borrow at all. And then all of a sudden I came back in before and right before we started our meeting and I'm saying, like, am I seeing things? But always request shares anyway, even if it's not on a cheaper stock like this, you know, just for a rule of thumb. But it is uh their shares are available so this is another great one where we could go both ways on it so really going to be looking for that movement towards that downside pretty substantial because it's hit that 10 on the ass twice and then from there where we're going to kind of you know we're going to set our price targets the range is huge so we're going to set our price target for 50 cents and then we can go you know for uh 
you know, an idea up to see of when they're going to, you know, when they're, the buying is going to come back into build. And we're really, like I said, we're going to be looking right in this about this consolidation. So 950 to basically nine ish area. And if it holds that, then we definitely should be looking for it to go back up. If not, if it breaks past there, guys, let the short run. I mean, it's, it's really looking pretty good. Hit control R. Yeah, there you go. All right. So I'm not nuts. <laughs> Uh, but it, either way, doesn't really matter. But so it's, it's obviously, you know, one of the better trades that we have out there. And SLDB uh, is also not, is, uh, excuse me, is also not hard to borrow. But as uh, Doug just said, he's going to, he said, I'm going to go request you control shares. Just make sure, because once you have them, you have them, you know. So that one little click just to kind of get yourself better, because they do, it does happen sometimes where you see it, you know, just kind of change and there's just no more shares available. BBBY, like and hate this stock at the same time. And I want to tell you why, because it's just, even when it does trade on days where it's got that interest, it just never really gives that oomph. You know, they really never gets that kick in where we really see it kind of jump. Um, so just remember, the range is not big. You know, today, obviously, the range is huge already compared to what it typically is. But just keep that in mind when you start your morning that, you know, be a little bit more conservative that we could, you know, coming into a stock like this. But the thing is, is that right now it's jumping up. But we have asked prints at 18 a bunch of different times. And it's not going to pull it up over here. But as we came up to this 18 level, there is a lot of ask that it really has not pulled back a substantial amount from. Now, we could take it as two ways. Number one is that it does need to pull back. And then basically what we want to look at is, was there enough buying to really push it up? Now, the buying at 18 was enough, but without pulling it back for that building. And here we, here we go. You can see 18, 70, 99, 18. You got a 15,000 share in there. So it definitely has the ability for long, but I just don't see enough up above here for it to really be able to sustain. So based off of not really pulling back from that 18 level, I'm going to be looking for some type of bar type move. I'm coming towards that downside. But, you know, overall, it's another one where it's got prints. You know, we definitely have controlling prints today, which is a nice change in pace based off of what we've been seeing in the pre-market. We've really had to kind of wait until based, you know, the market opens at 930 point to really be able to make any type of decision. So we got a lot of things going on out there. Now, a few sideless stocks, WWW are which i like the way this is set up big time i'm not i'm still torn between the buying because it has had some really good buying that's came over this three level uh, but it has also been a lot of selling off on those moves so it's kind of right in that like purgatory of whether or not it's going to be looking to really jump or in our jump and continue or jump first and then either way i'm still going to be looking for a jump because this is a perfect setup in the market if you want to get rid of shares all you got to do is once the market opens you jump this thing up real quick boom you drop it on everybody's head and and you know you go on your you know with your day so either way i'm still going to be looking for that move towards that upside but it's really going to depend on those off level type prints and those shorter term type prints to tell us do we have the ability to continue to run after that bar and obviously that's one of the most important parts because if we get in on a trigger too high and it doesn't continue we end you know and you end up getting shaken out so just keep that in mind as you're watching here and then we have pltr so pltr was an ipo yesterday i i don't see much yet here but i just can't not pay attention to something that's this cheap and trading 5.7 million shares of volume you know before you know at 9 10 in the morning so i don't have anything great for you i don't have any you know real great words of wisdom either um Actually, yes, I do. If you're brand new to trading, don't look at this because you're not going to see anything. You literally are just going to see numbers running and colors running, and you're going to have a very, very hard time. This is going to be a more advanced stock just because there's so much volume that's given. That, you know, look at what happened yesterday, and it's not going to show up here. But I, we were over like 200 million shares, um, and and what about 100 million shares happened in like 15 minutes of it opening up? I, and I might be exaggerating a little bit, but really soon. So. Just keep that in mind when you're looking at it. But this cheap, that much volume, got to gotta keep an eye on it. I know, uh, you know, we were talking about yesterday. There's some big people behind this. And then I also, I know uh, Nitesh had sent me something about how uh, there's some shady things that might be going on. But until things get shady, until they find everything out, let's let's try to take a look at it. So, you know, well, obviously 10 is going to be a huge level for us to look at 950. Right now, it's just kind of sitting in this consolidation. And like I said, I don't have any great prints to go over, you know, besides obviously these ones coming in towards that 10 level. But, you know, either way, 
it takes a lot to move a stock like this. So just make sure you keep that in mind. But, you know, looking you know, like I said, you know, the variables has got potential. And that's really what I'm, you know, that's why it's on the bottom of our side list. Now, anything else out there that I missed? Anything else out there that I missed? Now, just one other thing, and you guys aren't going to be able to use this for class. Keep an eye on DKNG today. Um, based off of what this move is, I don't know what it is, but it's uh, it's going to be hard to sustain. I think it's basically a lot off of how much selling came into it coming down to that 55 level. Uh, but I don't have the substance in my mind for this to be this high. Um, so I know if I was trading this morning, I'd be looking for something to show selling to come right, you know, come right back down to reality. So there's nothing there yet, but just something I know I would be looking for. So I just want to point that out to you guys. All right. So class is going to begin in about five minutes. I'll be opening up the room shortly after ending here. Remember, make sure you get in your trader of the month vote um, for the month of October. We'll be announcing tomorrow morning. Other than that, guys, I will see everyone in class and talk to everyone in the chat a little bit later. Happy trading.